Hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, we'll take a problem from the chapter of electric current. And this is question number 25 from the building understanding section. So the question states that we have a circuit in which the voltmeter reads V1 equals one volt and the ammeter reads I1 equals one ampere. On changing the places of the ammeter and the voltmeter, the voltmeter now reads V2 and the ammeter reads I2. So we have to find the resistance of the resistor given in picture. We have to find the resistance of the ammeter and the voltmeter as well. So yeah, that's the question. Give this a try guys and then check out the solution. Okay, so this is the initial configuration of the system and here the voltmeter reading is given to be V1. So what that means is the voltage across these two points is actually V1. Okay, and also the current in the circuit in this particular case is given to be one ampere and the voltage reading is V1, which is also one volt. Okay, so, so first we'll write everything in terms of variables. So the initial current, so in this situation, the current is I1 and the voltmeter reading is V1. Okay, so now let's consider the resistance of the voltmeter as RV. So what is the equivalent resistance of this? So as these two are in parallel, we can just say one over R equivalent is one by R plus one by RV, right? And we also know that the potential across these two terminals is V1. So we can say V1 by R equivalent is equal to the total current passing through them, which we know is actually I1, right? So this will be equal to I1 and this will be V1, one by R plus one by RV. So this will be our first equation. And the second information that we can get from the given diagram is that let's assume the battery to have an EMF of E. So first of all, we'll I assume that this is an ideal battery because it was not mentioned in the question that uh, this had some resistance. Okay, so we'll assume that this is an ideal battery. So we can write E uh, as, firstly, there will be some potential drop across the ammeter because it's not ideal and that would be just I1 RA and plus V1 okay because the voltage drop across the these two terminals is V1 and the second potential drop is I1 into RA so together they should equal the EMF of the battery okay so this will be equation number two so now the thing is uh, we switch the position of the voltmeter and the ammeter such that the voltmeter is now present over here and the ammeter is now present over here. In this case, the readings are given to be V2 and I2 respectively. So V2 is obviously going to be the potential difference across these two pink points. So this potential difference is given to be V2 and I2 is going to be the current in this branch. So let's just term it as I2, okay? So once again, we can write the EMF of the battery as V2 plus I2 into RA. Okay, so I2 into RA is, uh, is pretty obvious. The current in this branch is I2 and the resistance of this branch is RA. So I2 into RA will give us the potential drop across these two points. And that plus the potential drop across the voltmeter should equal the put EMF of the battery. Okay, so this will be our third equation. Now here, uh, now if you observe equation two and equation three, uh, we can directly figure out the value of RA from here by just subtracting these two equations. So let's subtract these two equations. Okay, and uh, once you substitute the values of all the given quantities, you will get the answer as two ohms. So, so we have figured out the resistance of the ammeter now. So now once we have the resistance of the ammeter, uh, observing equation three, V2, I2, RA are known, so we can figure out E. Okay, so that turns out to be three volts. And now once we know E, okay, so now we can write down one more equation conserving the currents, okay, equating the currents. So the current through the voltmeter is going to be the voltage divided by the resistance. So that'll be V2 divided by RV. And this will be split into I2 and the current through the resistance. So this will be equal to I2 plus the voltage across these two branches is I2 into RA that divided by the resistance of the resistor. So, okay, so let's call this equation as equation four. If you observe equation one, the variables are R and RV and equation four also the variables are R and R, R, uh, R and RV. So we can simultaneously solve them and obtain the value of both R and RV as well. Okay, and uh, after you substitute all the known values and solve these equations, you'll get both of them as two ohms itself, which is the same as the value of the resistance of the ammeter. So all of them will have the same resistance of two ohms. Okay, so yeah, that was basically it for this question. If you guys have any doubts, you can ask below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share and subscribe. That's it. Thanks for watching.